Breaking news. ICC prosecutor visited President Muhammad Buhari after shunning letters on Christian persecution in Nigeria. Can. Hello, my wonderful people. We know what has been going on in the north of Nigeria, how especially Kaduna and some other places, you know, Christians have been targeted, um, place of worship has been burnt down, and a lot more going on. And so ICC has sent various messages to President Muhammad Buhari on account of, you know, this persecution. What is he doing and how is he going about it? To tell you who Buhari seriously on the inside is, President Muhammad Buhari is the man who you and I see that this very guy sent why ASU is on strike. Uniben student protested, you know, some days ago. They're tired of staying at home, doing nothing. They should be going to school. Buhari's children have, within three years, if you school abroad, you have finished your education, okay? Abroad, going to school and having the best of education. Guess what? Nigerian students are at home. So they protested. Buhari not listening anyway. Uh, we've seen that the uh, ICC, the International Criminal Court, has visited Buhari on account of some irregularities going on. Let's see all that is happening. ICC prosecutor visited President Muhammad Buhari after shunning letters on Christian persecution ongoing in Nigeria. Can give full reports. The Christian Association of Nigeria can has expressed displeasure over with the International Criminal Court. ICC prosecutor Kamri Kahid. Kahid, who was in Nigeria a fortnight ago, heard talk with President Muhammad Buhari and the Vice President in the State House, at the State House in Abuja. In a statement on Friday, Khan General Secretary Joseph Daramola said the, the body wrote to, to Kahid twice in 2021 to engage him on religious violence affecting Christians. Till this day, we have not heard any response. Mr. Kari failed to make any contact with us before, during, and after his visit to Abuja. Till this day, we have not heard any response. Mr. Kari failed to make any contact with us before, during, and after his visit to Abuja. To our, to our shock, we found out that mm -hmm. we found out about his visit in the media. It appeared that the persecutor engaged in political games and is unwilling to engage with victims of atrocities. He comes to Nigeria not finding out the truth or engaging the body that have accused President Muhammad Buhari. How is that true fairness and justice at all? The Christian leaders maintained there is a great deal of explanation to be done because Mr. Kali only visited Nigerian office and not Nigeria. So whatever report he will go back to give to ICC, it's all a lie. Khan accused Mr. Kahi of playing political games, polarizing relationship with the government, and not interested in the standing up for those who have been attacked. The statement noted that many years the Christian community has borne the bonds of religious violence in Africa's biggest nation. We have in communication, we have a communication that was ignored by the persecutor, pointed out flaws in approach taken by his persecutor in relation to Nigeria. Can vow to vehemently challenge the murder targeting of Christians, even if the ICC does not take a vicious action as expected, noting that the search for justice and readiness for the persecuted, brutalized Christians will not stop. The body said it remained willingly willing to engage with Kai and his office. So this uh, ICC persecutor came, and guess what? He went to see Buhari. They had tea. They discussed politics and he came back to the body. Wari told him that what they are trying to do now is give uh, those murderers, which is uh, the Bokos and the rest, they are trying to give them, uh, they are trying to make them, you know, part of the, of, the, of the nation. They are trying to integrate them. That's what they are trying to do now. They are trying to bring them in, part of society. And this man went on to say that, uh, ah, Buhari is doing quite well. Ah, Buhari is doing very well. The government is trying to integrate these people because they don't. And you did not even visit the Christian Association and see evidences. 
Now, this man will go back to ICC and give a report that indeed he has visited Nigeria and everything is well. The things we are getting is media reports. Are you sure these people at all are willing for the truth to come out? Are you sure they are really? Because it feels, so my wonderful people, it feels very strongly that this man, you know, it, it is a Kai man that came, you know, he's not ready to look into the case, okay? The, the, the matter that the people are bringing up is not interested. What he is interested in is they told him to go and investigate what was going on in Nigeria. He has come, he has seen the investigation. He has gone back to tell them that the president is working out at it and they want to integrate those who have committed crime back into society. He sees it's a very good one. Uh, they should integrate them into society uh, because that will help the society to be better. And this is just the perspective, you know, from which he's coming from. And, you know, this is what he sees and this is how he wants to, you know, accept things. Well, my wonderful people, you know, uh, uh, the, the, the Christian Association can has said this man, they are still willing to engage with him and, you know, hear what he has to say in his defense, why, he's, why he came and will not even speak to the body that has written to him twice. Okay, he shuns the letters, ignored the letters, he came, had a word with Buhari and then... Um, Buhari told him that he's working at it, he's trying to, and guess what? Why other murderers have been condemned to death? There is a woman in the north who, her uh, uh, husband's brother is in politics. And of course, there was domestic violence and all that. Before you could say Jack Robinson, they said she stabbed him to death. And guess what? They've sentenced her to death. And they have a little girl. They did not even bother about the child. That who will look after this child and all that, you know? I wonder how that girl is going to grow up. She still has her mother, but they say, no, the mother must be, her life must be taken because the, 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 the brother is a politician. Why other criminals, okay? The, 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 the what's it called now? Those who have been killing the, the Boko Arams and the, the uh, bandits, they get, they get a pardon. Can you see what's going on in this country? And yet they say, no, this woman's life must be taken. Can you see how wicked it is? Always pray that your children will not marry their enemy or marry into the family that is an enemy to them. Always pray, honestly, parents, pray. Okay? We're not saying it is not right that, you know, the mercy violence will end the life of one person, but however it has happened. What next? What next? Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.